So let's now talk about the content for your webinar. I think this is very, very important. What content are you going to put in there? How are you going to balance sort of sales and marketing versus delivering content? Well, whatever your content is, it has to pull people in. They need to know that the content you're giving them is valuable. So you are going to have to give away valuable information in your webinar. It's going to have to be something that they want to hear. So basically, it needs to be informative and educational. It needs to be something that's going to educate them in a niche, um, not just on why they need to buy from you and why you're an authority, but give them some valuable information in that particular niche. And what you wanted to do is answer the questions, i.e., what problems have they got? You want to start providing solutions to their problems, and that's what's going to get them on board. If they think that your seminar, uh, your webinar is going to give them some great information to help them, I, I don't know, say become a better uh, dog trainer, for example, then they are likely to turn up. They're going to want to come along because they're going to want to know um, even more what's going on. They're going to want to um, really get to grips with it. So. Make sure your content is educational, make sure that it's informative, make sure that it solves their problems and really excites them so that they think, yeah, I've really got to turn up and make sure you deliver it, more importantly. Don't give away everything. I think this is quite important. A lot of people, when it comes to um, running sort of webinars like this, are tempted to sort of give away the barn, if you like. Yeah, they give away everything. Whereas, yes, you've got to give away some information, but if you're selling an info product and that's the whole purpose of the webinar, don't give them away everything that's in the webinar because how is that going to work? It's not. Give them some of the information, a good amount of the information to sort of whet their appetite and answer some of their questions and problems, but not everything. Everything will be in the product that you are selling to them. If you give away too much, you've then got nothing to sell, you're not going to make any profits at all. Now, um, yes, I think it's important. It's, it, it's quite important, I think, that you really do think about this um, balance of how much information do you give them versus what are you um, selling them. It's, it's a difficult balance to get, I, I think, in many cases, but... Once you've got it, you're made, really. It's it's important to spend some time and think about that balance. If you give them sort of this much information, would they still want your product? That's the sort of question you have to answer. So you, you are trying to educate them, give them information, but you are also trying to make sure that they buy. You know, you've obviously got to put food on the table and pay electricity and so on. So, you know, you've got to earn from it. And getting this balance, I think, is where a lot of people fall over and um, a lot of people struggle. So sit and think about it. Remember, ask yourself the question, if I teach them all this, will they still want my product? Does that mean you've got to turn your product more into an advanced training course? I don't know. Maybe you do. But one thing you can do with the content is understand your target market. What do they want to learn? What do they want to listen to? Um, you know, survey them. Send out an email. Um, to your list, advertising the webinar, and get their input. Uh, tell, say to them, right, what do you want to hear in this? If you're interviewing a, a, a guru or an expert in a niche, say to them, what questions do you want me to ask this person? They will feed back. It encourages interaction. And, of course, it's going to encourage them then to be a part of this whole um, webinar thing with you because, of course, they've got a vested interest then because they have you know, contacted you and sort of giving you some input for it. But I, I think it's important, and I, I do think this is where people fall down. You have to understand your target market and what they want. Yeah, if I'm delivering the content on yeah something about making money and you know, my target market doesn't want to know that, they want to know how to build a business or build relationships with a list, it's not going to help. You, know, you have to understand what are the wants and needs of your tar the people that are going to be listening. And you do have to really, really work on getting that right. It's very, very important. If you can understand that and make it so that it's interesting to them, you'll get people to come up. Now, you've got to give, it into, give them it in um, sort of bite-sized chunks, if you like. It's got to be easy to understand. Don't try and explain sort of everything and make it complex. Make it simple and easy to understand. My sort of 
philosophy is if a 10 year old can understand it it's suitable for everyone unless I'm doing something that's specifically technical or aimed at a very very specific market I will keep everything very very simple now obviously if I'm presenting something to sort of um, mathematics professor professors I may not need to dumb it down quite as much you know I, I don't want to make it too simple for them so you know I, I think you've got to really think about how you are going to present this and how it's going to be for people so make sure you present it in a way which your target market can understand when it comes to sort of the balance between sales and content don't spend too much time sell, selling to them sell subtly casually mention the other product tell them um, how good it is uh, and so on and so forth but don't sit there and sort of constantly go well you've got to buy this product to find out more you need to buy this product etc etc um, because people aren't going to do it you know pe people are going to get annoyed people don't like to um, people don't like to be sold to so sure have a call to action right at the end that's fine that's not a problem at all but do not sit and spend ages and ages trying to sell to them educate them as to why they need it and why it's going to help them but do not um, spend all that time trying to sell it's not going to work it really really isn't so think about the balance of sales and information think about you know if I was someone who'd come along to this webinar would I be happy with this level of information or you know this level of sales yeah, if I pay for the webinar how would I feel if I um, was was sold to this much would I be annoyed with the level of selling so you do have to think about your uh, listeners and what they want if you're gonna set up a pitch fest you are gonna lose people people have come for information so if you are there constantly trying to sell they're going to start um, leaving the webinar basically you're gonna lose them and you don't want to do that so avoid a pitch fest I mean by all means you can say to me up front I've heard this on a few times you know we're all adults here you know I am selling your product but I'm going to show you how it all works up front and then the product will give you even more information on how it's done so you know do something like that but you've got to get the balance right because um, if you don't you're not going to profit you, you might make some money but you're not going to make as much as perhaps you could so it's very very important for you to carefully think about this balance get this balance right and you know you can see a, a good increase in your profit so really really think about it but give them good content balance the sales versus content and your webinar is going to go great it's going to go fantastically and people will love it and once you've done one you can do many many more and people will love the webinars webinars are fantastic and I think what you'll find is once you run one or two you'll realize what a great source of um, communication with an audience they are and the sheer uh, potential available for you from them so really really spend some time thinking about um, the content and make sure the content is really top-notch top-notch content is going to help you to make more sales